So this is the Geniverse booth. They have probably the biggest solar generator booth that I've seen here at the show. Uh, this is a very, very impressive booth. They're running pretty much everything on their systems. And so they've got their little 1000 watt units, basically 1000 watt inverter, 1000 watt hour battery, a little bit larger. So this is their Home Power One Pro, Home Power Two Pro, and then Home Power Two Pro Plus. So basically they're trying to fit everybody's needs with a different size system. Uh, for me, of course, I'm only ever really interested in the big stuff. And so with the Home Power 2 Pro Plus, um, this you're able to link two of them together and use this connection hub to where you, it's still 120 volts, but you can get a 30 amp uh, RV plug here and you can do the full 30 amps out of it. You can actually do more, I believe, because this is a 2200 watt inverter. So when you compare uh, when you pair two of these together, you get 4,400 watts of inverter output. So obviously this plug is rated to 30 amps, which means you're gonna get up to 3,600 watts output out of that, but it would be a really good setup as far as the output capability for something like an RV or a, a sub panel running 120 volt equipment. Uh, and then when it comes to battery capacity, each one of these is 2,400 watt hours. So in total, you're getting 4,800 watt hours. So you'd have to determine if that's enough power for you and then each one of these can do 400 watts of solar input. And they've got this folding 200 watt solar panel down here. It's very, very compact and they've got legs built into it. Very simple, nice design. Uh, so this would be able to run something like a small RV. Uh, definitely the essentials of a house, uh, like your fridge and freezer, no problem for 24 hours or something like that. But uh, my concern would be the solar input. It's not a really high solar input, especially if you need to offset your total power needs, because you still need to be able to run the fridge and freezer during the day. So they used to be Generarch, that was their company before, and, and that's when they had the home power, it was like more like a tower on wheels, but now they've got an even cooler system that's its own powered tower for moving it around. Let me show you that. This is what I guess I would call their power tower, and basically so it's, it's got the same home power two pro plus units in it, just like we saw over there. Uh, it's got this sliding screen here. So if you want the display to be dimmer, then it's not gonna keep you up at night or anything like that. It's got the same connection hub here on top, still 120 volts, but this is actually integrated with basically a switch. This is a manual transfer switch. You would pre-select which circuits you want to run. Your electrician would help you install this. And then you say the electricity is expensive for part of the day you could run the house on the generator option, which is gonna then help lower your electricity bill. And then when the electricity costs less, you switch back over to line and it'll recharge this whole system when the electricity is much more affordable. And then you just have it in the off position to where it's not doing anything on your house at all. So the cool thing about this is it is a powered tower right here. See if I can turn it on. So you select which direction you want it to move. You push an arrow here and then it'll actually move around for you using the power here. So very impressive if you have a flat surface area that you need to move it around and you need the assistance, that's definitely gonna be a cool thing. And then the last thing is this huge home integration system. Now this is still about one year out before they have this ready. And this is the battery bank. And then here we've got the inverter and charge controller. And this is a 15 kilowatt hour battery bank. So seriously powerful. Uh, this is easily a day's worth of stored energy for most emergency situations. It could realistically be three days of stored energy depending on what you need to run. Uh, again, it always comes down to what you need to run. If you need to run a space heater or a central air conditioning or even just a window air conditioner, you're gonna greatly reduce your length of time of how long you can run this equipment. But you can have up to four of these per one of these. Now each one of these can do 120 and 240 volt. You only need one of them to do that. And they're trying to decide between the total kilowatt uh, capacity as far as the output. Uh, right now they're advertising eight kilowatts or 8,000 watt inverter in here, and they don't know the solar input, but you can have up to four of these together. So realistically you could have 32,000 watts of inverter power and then up to 240,000 watt hours of battery capacity. Uh, obviously you'd have to have enough wall space to be able to do that, but they are trying to get the price down on it. So that way they can be very competitive in the market for backup uh, home power wall uh, type setup. So, 
The cool thing is you can use this for off-grid or for grid tied to help offset your energy bills. And that seems to be one of the themes here at CES 2023 is offsetting the electricity bill. So overall, lots of cool stuff here from Generverse and and I'm excited to see uh, when this comes out especially and try this out and I think some people will have a use for this. It's definitely right there in that middle cap type category. And so if you need a portable system, then this seems to be a pretty good option. The solar is a little bit low, so you need to be aware of that. But this here, I imagine will do extremely well and be very impressive once people have them installed on their house. I don't know what you couldn't power with it essentially. So thanks guys, be prepared. See y'all in the next video.